So if you follow me on Instagram and you keep up with my stories, then you might be aware that I've been in a really horrible reading slump for the past two months or so. And honestly, what really sucks about it is that I want to read. Like I have so much time on my hands. My foot is currently broken. I can't move. I can't do anything. Can't go anywhere. Literally have so much time to read. And yet I can't seem to pick up a book and actually enjoy it. Like literally probably read like 40 books in the past two months, DNF seven of them. And then like maybe enjoyed four or five of them. I have been doing a lot of rereads and those have been going well, because I've been in a reading slump, rereads tend to help me like, you know, keep the pace of like not being in too horrible of a reading slump. And those have been going fine. But any new book that I pick up seem to not be working for me lately. So I actually posted about this on my stories and a lot of people got back to me with some suggestions on how to possibly help myself out of this. And somebody did tell me to try swapping out genres. And when I heard that, like for first second I heard that, I'm like, I don't really want to swap out genres. I want to read a romance. I just want to find a good romance. But then I realized that, you know what? I used to love fantasy fantasy and I still love fantasy in theory. I just never really pick up the, the genre anymore because for some reason, like I just, I'm not so into it anymore, but it happens to be, I do have the bridge kingdom by Daniel L. Genshin on my physical TBR. It's been sitting here for a month and months. I really don't remember when I bought these. I bought them like at the end of my fantasy streak and they just like got stuck on my physical TBR. But I do know that this is a fantasy and it is also a romance and it is also a slow burn. So I feel like this might be a solid move to switch up my genres a little bit while still staying in my realm of romance, which is what I really want to read. So I've decided I'm going to vlog this for you guys and see if I can actually get myself into reading this series and if it will actually help with my reading slump. So all I do know about this series is that a lot of people really, really love it and say absolutely amazing things about it. So it's set in some sort of fantasy world and I'm pretty sure that this girl has been groomed her entire life to marry her enemy of sorts. Like it's some sort of enemies to lovers and I think that it has to do something with like a bridge, obviously. I think that she is from one side of the bridge and this guy that she is going to be like arranged to be marriage is from the other side of the bridge and they're supposed to like form this alliance but I'm pretty sure she is like you know she's been trained to go and possibly kill him but she's gonna end up falling in love with him instead I can totally be off on that synopsis but basically I've seen this series around a lot and that is kind of what I have picked up from you know uh seeing a lot of reviews and everything like that so basically I'm pretty sure that this is a very slow burn so hopefully there will be enough romance to keep me going but who the hell knows? I'm not going to know until I start reading it. So basically, I've decided that we are going to read this together. We're going to see if this is going to go well or not. So yeah, this is the start of my Bridge Kingdom vlog. So I am planning to go outside for the day because it is absolutely beautiful out and my dog is absolutely begging me right now to go and sit outside with him. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get started on this duology and then I'll update you as I have some interesting things to share with you. So that is where we're at right now. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. So it has been a minute since I last updated you guys and that is mostly because of the day that I started making this vlog my reading slump finally hit me to the point where it's like I could not get myself to read no matter how hard I tried like I just couldn't focus on reading and it had nothing to do with the book it was completely on me so on day one I actually only got one chapter in and it was a very gripping chapter like I liked the chapter I liked where the story was going I just couldn't get myself to focus on reading so horrible first day and then yesterday which was day two I didn't have that much better of a day I was still very much feeling the like not in the mood to read but I wanted to read because I had nothing better to do and I just wanted to like you know waste the time in a book but I only ended up getting 50 pages in because I just really wasn't feeling it but the story was going really really well I just couldn't get myself to actually like focus on it so I kept putting it down like every other page sort of thing but it was going good and then anyway I woke up in a much better mood today so I actually already got how far I got 123 pages in so I'm a little bit less than halfway through and it is going really well so far like I'm finally like invested into the story to the point where it's like I'm having a easier time binging like a chapter or two in a row before like my mind just is like I'm not in the mood to read anymore let's pick up my phone so it's going pretty well and it happens to be like I was really surprised on how on point I was with what the story is actually about so we're following this girl who is a princess and she's known her entire life that she's basically being groomed to marry this king when she is old enough so she basically has been turned into a spy she learned about potions she learned how to fight she learned about intrigue and codes and everything along those lines and at the beginning of the book she finally gets sent to marry this king from another territory so we get the arranged marriage right up front within the first like chapter two or three and then the rest of the story so far has basically been her now living in this new country with her new king slash husband of sorts and she's basically like trying to figure out of like how her original country can basically like 
like infiltrate theirs and like she's basically spying for them trying to figure out the lay of the land of sorts and at the same time her husband doesn't completely trust her but also doesn't realize how much of a spy she actually is like he thinks that she's just like a stupid little girl that like got sent to her like that got sent to him to like you know uh basically like you know fulfill the treat that they had made like years and years ago so that is kind of the point where we're at we've had a handful of like you know interactions so far so the romance aspect of it is going pretty okay like we have had like you know a couple of moments where it's like you know the romance has been slowly building up but not much has happened so far but we have gotten a couple of really like good classic moments like we've gotten a nightmare scene we got a who did this to you moment when he saw a bunch of her scars from like when she was a child and was trained and everything like that and he got all like oh my god who did this to you like don't worry no one's ever going to treat you that way when you're in my country sort of thing and what else did we got we got a take care of her sick moment when she got sick because she doesn't really know how to swim because she grew up her whole life in a desert so like she got really nauseous and he like basically took care of her when she was on a boat and throwing up and everything like that so there was a couple of really solid moments that really was helping like me like grip into the story and get really into it so I don't really have much more to share with you other than that but like I'm really enjoying where the story is going so far like the whole like political spy arranged marriage aspect is going really well and then the whole like you know romance aspect of it it is a slow burn but I'm really enjoying the slow pace of it like I'm liking how it is slowly being built up and then honestly I think the best part of this whole story is the actual like setup of like the land like the whole lay of the land like I really like the whole idea of like the fact that like this country owns this bridge that basically like runs the rest of the countries all around it like the fact that like they have um you know they own the bridge basically makes them the you know they get to choose what gets sent where and they basically have like a really like um upper hand on like the rest of the countries around them so that is kind of one of the reasons why the treaty was originally made because like they like you know just war p politics and stuff like that but basically i think that one of the most interesting parts of this book is the actual like layout of the map that we're looking at like we're net right we're right now in some sort of like tropical island and it's honestly like a vibe and the whole idea of like that this place is keeping a lot of secrets and like they have this bridge and it's really big and really important and everything along those lines like that is honestly like very very interesting to me so all around the board this book is honestly going way better than I expected and I feel like the only negative thing I can say about it is that it is um third person which I do have a hard time wrapping my head around but honestly like most fantasies are third person so after a couple of chapters it did start like clicking way easier for me and now I am into it but that was one thing that was making it a little bit hard for me to get into at the like in the beginning but it is also dual pov so i am enjoying that aspect of it so basically i am still in a reading slump and i am having a hard time getting through like that the fact of like focusing on a book but this book i think was a good move because honestly i am super into it at the moment so i'm gonna keep reading i'll try to update you um when i have something else to share but basically it didn't start off great but it is going it's going okay for now the next day so last night i did end up finishing the bridge kingdom and unfortunately i did not end up loving it as much as i was hoping to love it and i think a big reason why i ended up feeling that way is because i kind of predicted how the entire story was going to play out like literally the last hundred pages i saw every single twist and turn coming from like a mile away and i just i therefore i got bored by the time i got to the end of it because it's like i just i wasn't surprised whatsoever like i just i predicted the whole thing and like therefore like it wasn't really that fun to read especially because i was in a reading slump and i was already having a hard Hard time concentrating like I was really more looking for a book to kind of like switch up my taste a little bit and get me feeling like different ways and like kind of like you know surprise me in one way or another and this book didn't end up surprising me and therefore that is why I didn't end up loving it and what kind of sucks is like for a majority of the story like for a moment there I was really really into it like right after I had last updated you I finally like really got into the story and I was really vibing with it I didn't want to put it down and then obviously I got closer to the end and then it started slowly dwindling but basically there was a lot about this book that I really did enjoy and I do think that this is one of those moments where it's like completely on me and nothing actually wrong with the book because if you like knew what you were getting yourself into the book like at the end of the day it's like there was a lot of lies and deception there was an enemy's lovers a marriage of convenience and like stuff along those lines like there's only so many ways that those type of stories go and if you like those type of stories then this book will definitely be like a five out of five stars for you but I am already iffy with the whole like lies and deception thing like I don't really love when characters are lying to one another or like you know they're kind of hiding some sort of their identity 
density or something along those lines. Like I'm never usually a fan of that to begin with, but I knew that going into the book. So I was prepared to go through that storyline. But for some reason, I kind of just expected it to possibly, you know, like surprise me in one way or another, maybe do something a little bit different with this classic like recipe of a fantasy book that, you know, like we usually get. So basically I was hoping for a little bit more and I didn't end up getting anything special whatsoever. And that is why I'm disappointed. But at the end of the day, it was pretty classic all the way around. And there wasn't really that much wrong with it. Like it had a really solid slow burn romance. If you were into the characters, you'll be into the romance and you'll really like that aspect of it. I did think that like, you know, the whole political aspect, the whole like scenario, like the situation of where we were, the whole idea of like the bridge kingdom and the fact that like there was tropical islands and there were snakes and like just the whole vibe of like the scenery of this book, I actually really, really did enjoy and think was pretty original. And that is what kept me going in the story. But at the end of the day, the rest of the story, like the general plot line was pretty basic and a little bit too basic for me because I just like I saw right through it. So that is kind of why I didn't end up loving it. But I think if I read this book in a different like mindset, like if I was in if I was in like less of a reading slump and I was in a little bit of a better mood and maybe I read this like two years ago when I was like a diehard fantasy romance fan, I think that this series probably would have gotten an easy five out of five stars. But unfortunately, like fantasy isn't so much my thing anymore. I kind of get bored a little bit. And also I'm in a reading slump. So I'm automatically in a negative mood. And I was just like looking, hoping that this book would be the thing to get me out of this mood. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out for me. So completely on me that I didn't end up loving this book. But if you were considering reading this book, like if you haven't read it before, I still say go for it because I know that not everybody is as picky as me. And I do think that a lot of people will absolutely love this story because there really wasn't too much wrong with it. It's just like very personal stuff to like me and my opinions of what didn't work for me. So basically that is kind of the gist of it and happens to be because I kind of felt that way by the end of book one, I am not planning to read a book two anymore. So I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Like happens to be like, I read the synopsis of it and I'm like, I kind of see how this entire story is going to play out. And because I already predicted the ending of book one and I didn't really like that vibe, I have no interest in doing that again for an entire second book. So I'm just going to like leave it here and I'm just going to say like, okay, book one was what it was, but like, let's not waste any more of my time. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time and I'm going to say goodbye and end this vlog at this very moment. So I do appreciate you watching this video if you did make it to the end. Um, I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch me be in a reading slump and not really get out of it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me in a little bit of misery. <laughs> but either way, um, yeah, that is that. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hopefully something else will get me out of my reading slump soon. But this didn't work and that is okay. So yeah, that is that. Um, okay, goodbye. Until next time, enjoy reading. Thank you.